the animals at this horse show were once wild. Now they are a testament to the potential of the adoption program. But not all of the BLM's horses are suitable for this type of work. Some are too old, too plain, or too wild. This is Medicine Hat. He has twice been adopted and twice returned. His markings make him highly desirable, but he is not a rideable horse. Under the Burns Amendment, he will soon be eligible for auction to any buyer, including the slaughterhouse. I don't want to criticize the government, but whatever they try to protect generally turns out to be a bad deal. Terry Sullivan is not a rancher or an activist. He grew up on a Nevada range and still remembers the conditions before the 1971 act. What happened, in my opinion, was after Thelma Johnson, who did a wonderful job getting laws passed and stuff, they just went too far with it and they started protecting them totally protecting them. And it meant that then that the ranchers who used to gather them up and keep them thinned out um, couldn't do that anymore. They also couldn't turn their stallions out, which most of them did in the winter, which kept the Mustangs pretty well upgraded. Um, now you get an awful lot of inbreeding, and the more inbreeding you get, the worse they get. They get bigger heads, they get smaller bodies, they get, and we call them broom tails because their tails get so long. And it's, there's just, <clears throat> They're just too close-knit. They don't get spread out the way they used to, you know, because there's no disturbance at all. A horse lover, Terry has adopted and gentled a Mustang for his granddaughter. But he is also practical. He shares the opinion of many that if the horses are going to die, they should at least provide food for others. They would go and take a spring and they would paw it out, make clear running water for everybody. Now what they do is, they, there's so many of them and so little water, is the stallions will guard the water hole and the foals and the mares will do their best to get a drink. Mostly what they do is drink mud. Their bellies fill with mud and they, they again die a horrible, horrible death. They eat the bark off sagebrush. I mean, it's just, there's just not enough out there for them. It's a serious problem. Something has to be done if anybody's interested in them not suffering. I mean, you don't have to do anything, but they're going to suffer more and more and more. I, and I think it's criminal. I, I hate what we do to them. I hate the fact that we love them to death.